Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I was almost going to do part two over because I, I had an idea that just didn't work. And then I started thinking about that couple of things, and I'm going to show you how to do this differently. You could actually take these little fin marks and bring them up in here and do the exact same thing with the virtual segment delete key. Uh, so that's what I was kind of thinking, but I just got off base. And then when you fill that in, these would show up. I'm not gonna spend too much time on them. And you'd have to reconfigure them. Uh, we're just gonna do a couple of them and then um, maybe we get one more in here. Let's just del delete that one and bring this one in. Whoop. And you know, rotate it. And I and I'm gonna I'm actually gonna change change the idea on this um, of doing it this way of these lines because plasma cutting is a lot more difficult than you think. Uh, laser engravers we have it easy, but now that's what the fin would look like, and I don't like it. But so. I'm still not scrapping that idea, but I think this would look equally as well and save you a lot of time and a lot of plasma cutting. If you take the fish and we'll go back left click, right click. And every time you right click, make sure it's a hairline because a lot of smart fill will fill in because you want everything a hairline, especially for plasma cutting. Now we still haven't dealt with this set of fins and but it, you could just bring them down and have them coming off. But my whole idea is instead of, let's go up here to object and break the curve apart since we did that. My whole idea would, would be to not use these. And this would, there may be some, were some double lines to begin with, and I might have created more, but instead of using these beautiful lines somebody drew with the artistic media tool or some way, it's just to take like a three-point curve line and draw single arc lines. And then when you have one you got to like, and laser engravers, this won't do too much good, but if you hit the plus key on the keyboard, and then move the next one up and hit plus key on your keyboard and move the next one up. And you'd want to change them and have them longer, shorter. Because I just cut out, ironically, just this morning, some redfish that had this exact same thing. And when you, little insight, when you do do this, take the shape tool. And because you drew them in this direction, you're going to start right here. So your plasma cutter is going to burn a little bitty hole and then it's going to take a line and just, just have line segments. Doesn't have to do this. So this is a, when you plasma cut this, first of all, there's a bad one. And that was in the original file. So I would go through and change all these to this process and see what you think. You know, this would be an easier one to do. Let's just do it. And, Somehow I got double lines and this would be a good, uh, if you don't have a program called uh, E-Cuts, uh, E-Cut can will remove all those double lines for you. But let's just, let's make another set, hit the plus key on the keyboard, get the pick tool. And this is one you definitely want to trim. And just keep moving them. And you don't have to have for but three. And then what you can do to make them kind of cool would be to take that th same three-point curve line and draw you a curve here and then make these lines shorter and take away that line. And it kind of mimics the fin better. This is a lot of work. All right, that's enough on that. Now... I'm gonna go ahead and make another whole part of this because I need to get rid of these double lines first. 
So stay tuned for part four and we'll clean up nodes. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.